All right, what is this, 182, I think? Okay, we've been doing this for frickin' forever. Um, and Judgment Day is now in 15 days plus Election Day itself. Um, why don't you start off, because I knew looking at my media that your media must be filling you with, like, righteous indignation about the president's son. So just go ahead with the Hunter Biden shit. The vice president's son. Um, oh, yeah, the future president's son. Sorry. So what happened was Hunter Biden, in a drunken uh, stupor, left his uh, laptop at a computer repair store. Um, he signed for it, um, and uh, we know it was his because his lawyer, uh, after everything came out, asked for it back. We have an email of that. Um, the laptop has thousands of emails on it, and among them a uh, pornography that he engaged in uh, while smoking a crack pipe. Uh, I don't really care that much about that, but what I do care is that um, he could be blackmailed, if people didn't know, and uh, by a foreign power or everybody by somebody. Knows. Well, now everybody knows, so I don't know what you can say about him unless he did something worse. But um, for over a year now, uh, Biden, Joe Biden, has been saying that he never was involved in his husband, in his son's business dealings, that he knew nothing about them. And now it turns out that we have evidence from the emails. We have a thank you note from a Ukrainian oligarch a Burisma company, the company that uh, 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 that Hunter Biden was on the board of, thanking Hunter for arranging a private meeting with his father, uh, the vice president. We also have a, um, and this has been checked out because it turns out that um, when they asked, when when the uh, when the post asked uh, for a statement from the Biden campaign, they have answered that there may have been a meeting. They, uh, the other thing that happened is that this laptop contained uh, the the statement from Biden, the son, that he will give ten percent of the proceeds from several deals worth millions and millions and millions, hundreds of millions, over a billion, to POPs. Now, in the English language, POPs is a synonym for the word dad. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now, these deals uh, involve giving a cut, a payback, both from the the Chinese Communist Party and from Ukrainian uh, Bur the Burisma company that uh, that Biden uh, admitted having the prosecutor fired uh, that was looking into them by threatening to withhold a hundred uh, to by threatening to withhold a billion dollars to the Ukraine. As far as the Chinese government goes, the deal was verified because the meeting was verified with Vice President Biden by uh, going to other outside sources. The, um, the company itself, the Chinese company, has a record of the meeting on the same day at the same time. The, um, there is also a uh, in as far as the emails go that say that um, Hunter Biden had arranged a meeting uh, 
with his father Joe Biden with the the uh, Burisma company guy that's been verified by one of the people on the email a CC person we also have the signature of Joe Biden uh, of Hunter Biden on the uh, receipt for the laptop at the repair shop now you may say well looks like Joe Biden got three lavish homes uh, as vice uh, as a senator and as a vice president not off of the government salary but perhaps by kickbacks from deals that he was making and that's that's sad but it's not evil it's just little money changing hands but it turns out that the problem is is that when he did this when he was making this money he was actually the point man going to China to negotiate a deal with China and the deal was we were his mission was to get them to stop putting military bases in the South China Sea which they had have now taken over they took it over under Obama it's a vast expanse of, of ocean north of Australia I guess uh, between the Philippines and Australia and what happened was uh, instead of getting uh, closer to the Philippines than Australia but instead of making a deal that would stop the Chinese from doing that the Chinese went ahead and acted as if we didn't exist and they went ahead and built a number of very, very dangerous military bases that basically gave them control of the whole ocean between Japan and Vietnam. Now, we did nothing during the Obama administration about this. And at the very same time that this was happening, Hunter Biden's... Uh, the son of the vice president was getting 1.5 billion in deals from the Chinese Communist Party and giving 10 percent of that back to POPs. So that's not just uh, bribery or pe influence peddling, it's actually treason because you're not allowed to be sent by the American government to represent the US in a negotiation to help the US and then make a secret deal for over a billion dollars with the country they sent you to. Okay. That's all I have to say, Rick. All right, so it all sounds really bad. Um, thing one is you know, and, and it's very similar to uh, the problem with Hillary's laptop that was the October surprise 11 days before the election in 2016. It's another problem with a laptop or maybe three laptops he left there. I don't know. I, because, um, but it's not changing anybody's mind the way Hillary's laptop and the FBI changed minds by 3% 11 days before the election. At the same number of days before the election in 2016, 5.9 million people have vote, had voted. At this point, it's 28 million people voted with roughly 2 to 1 Democrats over Republicans in by mail voting, slightly less in in-person voting. Um, so this very similar story with just an amazingly incriminating assortment of information on this laptop. Um, so let me talk about New York newspapers for a second. New York has two fancy newspapers for people who like to read a lot of fancy words. The New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. Then it has two main tabloids. Um, New York Daily News for liberals who like shorter words and the New York Post for conservatives who like short w words. And New York Post is owned by Rupert Murdoch, who also owns Fox News. And the Post is a, a very simplistic, compared to 
less simplistic newspapers, very conservative paper. And they're the ones who are doing all the reporting on Hunter Biden's laptop. But the New York Times did reporting on the reporting. And they reported today or yesterday that the reporting on this whole Hunter Biden thing which the FBI had warned about, had warned that Rudy Giuliani is being used as a pipeline to share Russian propaganda and Russian in dis, whatever you call it, Russian bullshit, uh, of which this might be some. Um, the New York Post reporting was found with the people at the Post were so put off by having to write the publish put out this story that nobody wanted to put their byline on it and the editors had to force a byline onto it and the person who's I don't know I didn't maybe I didn't get the details right but I think I read but it can't possibly be right that the person um, whose byline ended up on it was surprised in that she had no idea that she was had written the story anyway it, it's it's um, it's a garbage story full of, of, of vast implausibilities and inconsistencies. And all I can do is what I'm not going to out yell you or out argue you. And in fact, it, yelling at you at this point kind of feels like yelling at the captain of the Titanic. You know, you're just piling on. All I can do is ask you, the viewer, if you're interested in this incredibly scandalous and incriminating story then read up on it um, on a number of, of from a number of sources triangulate triangulate is a fucking term from surveying where you're trying to figure out where something is by aiming telescopes at it and sighting it and then doing some other trigonometric shit and you triangulate on it by by taking a look at it from one angle and then you walk you know a quarter mile and you sight it from another angle and you use trigonometry to get a good anyway triangulation is you look at things from different points of view so look at it from conservative sources if you want and liberal sources if you want and you know and go to Wikipedia you know maybe to the land says that's you know that's super liberally corrupt but anyway um, do your own research if you care um, but uh, you know what I've seen, and Lance can rightfully accuse me of of not knowing as many of the details about it as I should. In that I've just seen the the, the various kind of casual debunkings of it um, via my media, my liberal media. Yeah, I think that this is a new low for you, Rick. That's fine. Um, I mean, because like I said, we, it's 15 days can, to go. Can you, can you can you let me have my time? Sure. Uh -huh. Okay. So the viewer that's watching this, and I think we get very bright viewers, will see that you actually had no argument against any of the facts that I cited. Well, they're, except um, they're not really facts. Could you they're, please not interrupt me? The computer me? had, you, hold on, sorry, you, one please, more thing, and then I'll let you talk for uninterrupted for 10 minutes, I promise. The computer had various digital signatures on it, that unsophisticated types wouldn't know about, and none of the digital signatures are consistent with the purported history um, of the the documents in the computer. That they were cooked at various times, and the computer itself was bought at a time that is inconsistent with the purported history of the fucking computer. Okay. What we have is we have witnesses. We have, we've been able to verify that meetings that were mentioned on the computer actually occurred, both with the Chinese company and with the Ukrainian company. And the only person that could have known who those, where those meetings were and when they were, were Hunter Biden. And he confirms that they, they've been. In, I'll give you an example. There was a there was a meeting at the White House um, with uh, at a certain time on a certain day. 
uh, Joe Biden does not deny it. And nobody knew when that meeting was occur occurred, but they mentioned it in the emails. So they went back to the White House log and found, yes, in fact, that is when the meeting occurred. And it was with Joe Biden. Now, they've done this with several different meetings. So it's not, I don't, I, your, mar, your remarks about the signature of the computer are irrelevant because they've been able to find the same, they've been able to independently corroborate that these meetings took place and the only person that could have known about them was Hunter Biden. So they know it was his computer and they, they have his signature at the, at the shop and uh, they have an email from his lawyer and him asking for the computer back. So it's his computer. Um, initially, the computer was not given to Rudy Giuliani. The, uh, the, shop, the computer shop owner gave it to the FBI over a year ago and they sat on it and did nothing. So in frustration because the shop owner was worried because it had pornography and, and incriminating evidence on it, the shop owner offered it to a Republican senator, Mike Lee. He didn't respond and finally in desperation he offered it to Giuliani and uh, so Giuliani was actually the third or fourth person that he offered it to. And we have evidence of that, at least one, the shop owner says that's what he did. And two, we know that the FBI received a copy of it a year ago. So this is definitely Hunter Biden's laptop. And the, um, the problem I'm having is that you just saying it's a load of garbage isn't really an argument. I have to explain. Well, if it is a load of garbage, it is an argument. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Our director's saying. Our director's saying that he for he agrees with me. Um, I know to our director, I don't know if you, it's, it's, we don't know because we're not the highest tech. We don't know if you can hear what the director says, but in case you didn't, the director says that he agree, that he or she agrees with me that the, uh, the Hunter Biden laptop story is, seems shaky based on what he or she has read because she, our director does a lot of research themselves and is asking me if I'm willing to concede um, that the stories that ran a few months ago about Trump calling the troops losers and suckers um, are also flimsy because they were based on anonymous sourcing. And, I mean, not really because I'm not willing to concede that because though the sourcing sources were anonymous, a number of different papers verified those same sources. They, they, they did their own legwork and contacted people and who were also in the room when this stuff was said or at the grave site. And uh, it's also consistent with other stuff that Trump has said or done. So I look at the, the loser sucker stuff the way I look at um, like Bill Cosby rape accusations. Um, we're supposed to believe all women. Um, what about the woman that Biden raped? Well, not her, because she's been shown to be a, a... Her story changed a bunch of times, and she's been shown to be a little bit of a grifter and a little bit of a... I mean, I know she got smeared in all the ways, Tara Reid. Not the Tara Reid who used to be on TV, but uh, 
a different Tara Reid. Again, I, I got to say, you know, just do your own research on Tara Reid and come to your own conclusions. Um, where her story changed three or four times as people said that where she said the alleged rape happened, it couldn't have happened because it's well traveled, there's not an alcove, whatever, um, pantyhose were mandatory, all this different stuff, and then she changed her story ever to, to match whatever notes she got on her original. So anyway, if you want, you can read up on they, her. They also but said anyway, they that. All... Means that is the point I'm making is. Oh, oh so you don't like being interrupted, Rick, when you're what? trying to make a point? You, you mean you don't like being interrupted when you're no, trying to no, make a point? No, no, actually I did like, I like that interrupting. Well, then I'll continue Reed. interrupting you because Tara Reed. Um, they also said that none of them even remember her as working at the office, all of his aides. And no, she just released. Don't remember, she was incompetent. So, I mean, no, just, they remember her. Half a dozen just, people remember yeah, her but, in the but office. The one, but the ones that say they didn't, she just released a, a video of them uh, talking to her when she, she actually made a Super 8 film while she was working at the office. So they were all lying about it. I don't know about that, but okay. Um, but the deal is that though we're supposed to believe all women, um, I feel like accusations have more weight. I mean, if one woman came forward and said that Bill Cosby drugged her and raped her in 1987, and she had details, but, you know, the details that are 40 years old, 33 years old. Um, I'd be like, wow, that is awful if it occurred. And she has, she seems to, you know, be pretty convincing. Plus, I know that statistically, um, very few rape accusations, you know, the, the, the rate of false accusations are are low, as low as any other crime. Um, but still, the, accusa the, the accusation, as, as, the, as more and more people came out against Bill Cosby until the numbers of women uh, surpassed 60, um, it became, in my mind, more and more undeniable. There are still Bill Cosby apologists who don't buy that any of the women are telling the truth. But most people, as the numbers grew, um, kind of threw up their hands on America's dad and said, all right, you know, Cliff Huxtable maybe isn't the best guy. Um, and I, I feel like there are enough different sources and enough different instances with Trump uh, being dismissive or disparaging of the troops that um, name one. It carries some name way. One. Can you name one? Well, there was what's his face who was at the at his son's grave. Who was what was he Secretary of State? It wasn't Tillerson. It's not the current Secretary of State. Um, but yeah, he um, a story came out that Trump standing with this high-ranking government official hired by Trump himself and was expressing incomprehension, like why would your son put himself out there like that? Um, there was also a woman, Tillerson, I just, saw, Tillerson, I just saw a tape of her again. They showed it yesterday on, I don't know her name. Uh, she's a, a young African-American widow who talked about Trump on the phone with her, um, calling her after her husband had been killed. He, he said to her, um, he, he didn't know, I, f I forget whether Trump didn't know her name or his name, but he, which bothered her. And, you know, that's, that's you know, you, I don't know. I, I don't know how it usually goes. And maybe that's just, maybe she's not politically a Trumper. So maybe, you know, she's being more sensitive, but she's, she didn't like that the, Trump didn't know the name. And she did, also didn't like that Trump said he knew what he signed up for. Okay, she Rick, that was, Rick, 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 uh, I, mean, I hate to. Like, I, I, name, yeah, Rick. I could name, 
I can't name the anonymous sources, but I can uh, give me a few no, minutes no, on the no, internet. I can look up okay. the two people I've seen who are non anonymous sources. Okay, well, it oh, sounds like that. interaction with the gold Rick, star couple. But okay, go ahead. Rick, um, now, director, I don't know why your point was relevant because I was trying to get Rick to face facts. Now, I have, we have Hunter Biden's laptop and we have videos of him having sex that will probably be released tomorrow. But I've seen the beginnings of the videos. They, sh they teased us a little bit. So does the FBI have? I I never read the FBI. The FBI, has, the the FBI has it. Yeah, yeah. And they and they seized Giuliani's, I believe, today. But there are more copies of it. Now my question to you is, um, we know that Hunter Biden said, according to these emails, that he was going to be giving a percentage of money to a Chinese company. Uh, while Biden was negotiating with China, and and this company was uh, run by the Chinese Communists, and it involves billions of dollars. So um, why is that garbage? Can you explain well, to me? Well, Do you well, have well, any well, proof? Well, I, let me and, tell and you. Wait, 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 wait. Before I uh, before you try to answer the question, let me let me tell you what your method of arguing is. Okay. Number one, without any proof whatsoever, you just say, well, the, the post story is garbage. Number two, you say the post doesn't use big enough words. And I'm just saying it's no, a tabloid. And, it's a fucking okay. tabloid. It's like Rick, US Rick, Today, except Rick, for conservative Rick, New York. Rick, could you not interrupt me? All right. And, and then the third thing that you say is, do your own research. Okay. Those yeah. don't, those arguments are not pursuant to my points okay you're not you're not you're not able to knock down my points with facts now we've got a signature of hunter biden we've got the dates and the people we have witnesses we have dates of meetings that have been independently corroborated that he was the only person that could have known about these meetings because they were meetings with him that we didn't know about until we got the laptop and checked the records of the White House. All right. So, so, so you need to explain to me uh, an, another thing. There is a little circumstantial evidence how Joe Biden got fabulously wealthy uh, because well, he is. Do we know that and Joe was, Biden was fabulously yeah, wealthy? Yeah, he has three multi-million dollar homes. Which well, you wouldn't you wouldn't get that on the salary of a senator or a vice president. Well, okay, so I would ask. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. So I need some clarification from you. I'm going to give exactly you exactly what my points are. I don't want to hear about whether the post uses words that you think are big enough. I don't want to hear you tell the viewers that they should do their own research which I, I'm getting sick of as a really bad, diverting argument. I All want right, to hear so, actual responses to the facts I pointed out. All right, so... Um, are you saying it's not... Biden's, are you Joe saying... Biden's multi-million dollar houses were not multi-million dollar houses when he... Joe you know Biden that? is, what, 77 years old? Um, you know, our house, when we how, bought... How do you, no, 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 I don't want to hear about your fucking house. How okay. do you how do you know that the post article is wrong? Why is it garbage? What about well, it? Do you I've know read a bunch that of will stuff, prove it? Now, not in detail. What is but the I've stuff? Read a bunch what of stuff did you read? From not stuff? the post saying it's garbage. But here, let me tell okay. you what. Right, let I, me I, well, hold, hold on, hold on, fucking shut up for a second. You asked me a question. Now I'm going to respond. So you asked me. Uh, what I know about about Joe Biden and what's true and what's not true. I know Joe Biden has had a long. He's had a, a long. He's got a. He's a druggie. He's had tr problems with drugs. He he tried. To, he joined the military. He got kicked out. This is fairly recent. He got a special waiver because he was too old to join. But they let him in. 
and then they kicked him out like within a couple months because he tested positive for cocaine. I'm sure I I'm sure I've read that he smoked crack. Um, so yeah, he's he's got drug problems. He worked for Barisma. He had a sweet deal with Barisma. Um, he's he had a divorce and then he he engaged in some. Uh, he started having an aff- aff- an affair, I think, with his brother's widow. Is that the deal? I don't something? care. You told me that the Post article was garbage. I want to know what specifically is garbage. So the, 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 this laptop containing all this vastly incriminating shit, like I, I don't know in detail, but let me tell you, let me tell you, because you're saying that sex tapes are coming out tomorrow, um, that there's this signature. Now I assume, now Joe Biden himself was on the tarmac after, you know, and a reporter came up to him and asked him about this, and Joe Biden yelled at the reporter and said, why are you asking me about this garbage story? And then there was, you know, very, my, my Twitter was taking either side, like, you know, fucking, this is just more like Hillary laptop bullshit. Or they were saying reporters have a right and even an obligation to ask about this shit. And then other people were saying, Oh, you're just trying to fucking make this into a horse race. But the deal is, here's what I believe. Obviously, I don't know enough about the story and enough about the evidence. You know a lot more than I do from a conservative point of view. Um, but obviously, as it continues to be a story, the, 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 the press that I read will have more on the specifics of it. And I guess I will, if I ever stop being lazy, I'll, I mean, that's one of my defenses, Lance, you, that I'm, I, I always go with, um, you know, my argument is, well, I don't fucking know anything about it, so whatever. Um, but, you know, if I stop being lazy, I'll start, like, reading up a little more on it and see if there's any chance that, you know, by reading up on it, I can be convinced that the more damning of Joe Biden details have any veracity to them. Now we can take a break and I can take 10 minutes and, and poke around and see the latest. Um, or we can wait to after we do, we're going to do a mid-week one of these in several days. And I can promise you I'll do my research on it. Right now, um, based on not much, um, I, I mean, I know that, that um, fucking um, Hunter Biden has fucked up a lot in various ways. Um, uh, but based on just very light skimming of, of stuff, I believe that this very damning laptop has a lot of BS to it. But I admit that I haven't looked at it in depth. And you, you, you're getting a more in-depth presentation, but from a conservative side. Well, Rick, we have an email from a board member of Burisma thanking Hunter Biden for introducing him to his father, Joe Biden, which Joe Biden completely denied. Okay, been, so, but I mean, if so, it's on the laptop, I just, like, I would have to read to see if, if there's any chance that that email could not be a fabrication. Well, because the, 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 the Biden campaign has admitted that there may have been a meeting. They haven't okay. denied it. They haven't denied it, and Hunter Biden's lawyer has wait, asked wait, for they, they say, You say they haven't denied it, and then you say they admitted it. No, no, they, 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 no, I didn't say they admitted it. They, um, they, have, they, they sent a direct question to the Biden campaign for response. They said, it, did this meeting take place? And they said it might have taken place. Okay, so they, they didn't admit it. They just, they, all right, so I'll well, read they, up. Well, I'll Rick, read. Rick, 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 listen to me. If, if Joe was telling the truth for over a year now, that he had nothing to do with Biden's, his son's business, then he, 
would not have there would not have been a possibility that he took the meeting but now it turns out that his own campaign has admitted that he may have had the meeting with the company that he was trying to pressure the Ukrainian government over so what it means is Rick is that maybe a year ago I told you that Biden had been pressuring the Ukrainian government. Yeah, but you don't need to. Well, no, you don't no, 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 Rick, like Rick, the don't, don't interrupt me. Don't we'll interrupt tell me. the same don't, story. Don't interrupt me. Don't oh. interrupt me. Over a year ago, I told you that Biden had been pressuring the Ukrainian government to fire a prosecutor who was investigating Burisma. And you told me that was all nonsense. And yeah. I showed you the videotape of him saying it. No, it's nonsense said, that he got fired for yeah. for investigating Burisma. But anyway. Okay, go ahead. okay. But but it turns out now that we have an email that the head of one of the heads of Burisma had asked Hunter Biden if he could intercede on behalf of Burisma with his father, Joe Biden. And we also have a letter, another email, a second email, saying thank you very much for having this meeting with, with the, your father, the vice president. And we have a White House log that says that there was a meeting, but it doesn't say with who, at the exact time that the Ukrainian oligarch was saying he got the meeting. And then at the same time, we have... Hunter admitting that he gives 10% of the money from his deals to Pops. And we have the, the Biden campaign admitting that there may have been a meeting. Not denying it. So that, that, that proves that Biden Sr. has been lying for over a year when he said that he was never involved with his son's dealings. All right, so... It's all very scandalous, and you're not going to get satisfaction from me, especially since I don't. I, the most I'll say is that I believe that it's that, you know, the the story is possibly now, you know, the the, the sources I've read, as I've said, said it's all fairly transparent bullshit run through Rudy Giuliani. Um, yeah, I know, I know what you said. I said that, but like, what you can't change more what I know or don't know. No, but what actually, what, what I what I want to know is how. I mean, let me put it to you this way. It's obvious that you've been brainwashed by your sources because even facts that you can't dispute. So many you of your facts are. No, I've named the facts that are indisputable. The drug problem. What is dispute? Wait, no, 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 no. Is it disputable that it was his laptop? Yeah, I think so, but I don't know. I'd have to do more reading on it because so, I just well, I, well, I laughed it off because I don't give a shit. It's not changing anybody's mind. It no, seemed I, transparent. Asking, it I, seemed like transparent October surprise bullshit from the Trump Giuliani camp. And well, if it's any tried. good, if it's any good. Now, if the red, now the our intelligence, the FBI, and say that. That Russia is trying to fuck with the election as much as they did with 2016. If it's quality bullshit from Russia, then I would believe that like somebody may have done a, a competent job with the laptop of weaving shit that's known to be true or plausible with other shit that is, you know, that it's that maybe somebody did a good job. Of, of building this bullshit. Well, well, let me or ask you a question. Part of it uh, why bullshit. didn't then then why didn't Joe Biden's campaign say that this is not Hunter's laptop and uh, the vice president never had a meeting with anyone from Burisma? Why didn't they just say that? I don't know. I mean, Joe Biden himself, like I said, on the tarmac called it a garbage story and yelled at the reporter for but but his that. official his official campaign when asked a specific question did you meet with Burisma said he may have met with Burisma okay. and there was a white house log of a meeting at the time and day described in the laptop 
So why why did the, why is that happening, Rick? Why is there a White House log that says there was a meeting? I don't know. It doesn't say, I, it doesn't tend, say I tend to believe that the the most damning details of this are bullshit. Okay, but well well look, Rick. I understand that we're dealing with pure faith right now. There's no logic anymore. I feel like I'm sort of dealing with a a pre civilization human that's basing their decisions on fears and prejudices. I mean, I understand that the New York Times told you it was bullshit and you're going on pure faith. You have no facts whatsoever. You just you're just arguing you can't believe it. It's too incredible to you. Given all the things that you know and I've told you, you're just saying Russian spies have made this up. I don't know. I mean, but like, I mean, so much of the shit you tell me when I check it out turns out to be uh, spun or complete bullshit run through. Well, I don't, I don't know. Did, did Hunter Biden work for Burisma? Yeah, I just said he did. He did okay. for like three years. Okay. And did the vice but president. Now he's going around. I already told you what I know about Hunter Biden working no, for no, Burisma. But, uh, but I, not just, I just want to know what, which, what did. Did Joe Biden tell the Ukrainian government to fire the prosecutor that was investigating Burisma? Yeah, because he was shitty. Okay. But, and okay. No, 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 no. But it's just two facts, all right? Mm -hmm. And now that we have an email saying that Biden had a meeting with Burisma, doesn't that at the very least mean that Biden was... Joe Biden was lying when he said he never met with or knew anything about his son's business? I don't know, because the other and, two... And if, and if so, why things, would he lie? Up, shut, up, fucking he shut, up, shut up. The other two things, that, that he tried to... That Biden said you can't get USA unless Prosecutor Shokin gets fired. Mm -hmm. that, that Hunter Biden worked for Burisma. I didn't hear that from you, because you're not a reliable fucking source. I read up on it, from a variety of sources that all together are fucking reliable. But when you tell me stuff, I need to go back and I need to fucking get on the internet and I need to read about it from several st sources. Yeah. Well, all right, all right, you know what? That's great, that's great. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out whether this was Hunter Biden's laptop. Okay. You're gonna find, you're gonna find something that proves this was not his laptop and that it's actually a plan by the Russians to fuck with our election. I think it's the Russians. I don't know it's because the Russians, it's they're fucking. They're fucking with our election because Trump colluded with Russia. So what you've got to do now, Rick, is you've got to prove that I'm lying. You have to prove that it's not Biden's laptop and that the emails were faked. Can you do that by Wednesday? I don't know, but I'm... I, well, I if you can't, if you can't, then what it means is that you're voting for a guy that sold out American foreign policy because of millions of bribes. So, I, so, I know, when we next meet up, I'll know more. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, let's say it's true. I'm just curious. Well, no, I'm not going to say Biden, it's true, because it's, it's, it's not going to be true. It's no, bullshit. No, 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 of course it's bullshit. Now... Biden goes to China with Hunt. Uh, Joe goes to China with Hunter on the plane, and he's supposed to keep them from building bases in the South China Sea. They come back. The Chinese continue to build the bases, but it turns out that Joe is getting 10% of a $1.5 billion deal with the Chinese Communist country. Uh, company. So wait, Joe Biden is getting $150 million. Apparent, uh, no, this is what the deal was. It was, um, it was over a billion dollars, and I 1.5 was to invest. Okay. Yeah, in, a, in a hedge so, fund that, that right, that right. But also, also, there was another Chinese company with members of the Chinese Communist Party and military on it that made another deal for many millions of dollars with Hunter, and Hunter has admitted in these emails that his father always gets 10% of any of these deals they make together when they are uh, 
when when Hunter goes with him. So my point is, you're going to have to prove to me that that didn't happen. Okay. All and, right. And, and, and wait, wait. And if it did happen, how can you still vote for him? Well, it did. I. Well, look at the guy that. I mean, it's the lesser. In that case, it's the lesser of two evils. Because look at the other guy. Well, has has Trump accepted millions of bribes to uh, give China the South China Sea? I mean, most of the financial props that 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 Trump's got seem to be more related to Deutsche Bank and Russian oligarchs. So where where well, did he actually no, break Trump hasn't gotten gotten payoffs from the Chinese? No, he's got. Okay. Yeah, well, places. well, Hunter actually got several million dollars from a Russian oligarch, the wife of the mayor of Moscow. It's revealed. This is this was in every newspaper. This wasn't in uh, the Giuliani re revelation. Hunter Biden received several million from the cor most corrupt women in in Russia. As and we and this is not denied. There's there's as a gift, I mean, as an investment. What was the deal? Oh, we I don't know what we don't know what what the mayor of Moscow's wife got for that. We don't know, but it uh, let's uh, since it looks. I mean, maybe he got a um, maybe maybe we changed American foreign policy. Maybe uh, maybe his father Joe Biden did a did a favor because. Really, what exactly does a drug addict, a crack addict, have to offer this woman? Have you thought about that? Why is it, Rick, that all these people are giving millions and millions and billions? They got 500 million from people in Iraq when Biden was negotiating the deal well, to pull out the American troops. Got that what you're saying is that the, the hedge fund where Hunter Biden helped run they got invest people gave them money to invest it's not well, like they gave money okay straight. okay okay but why why did these people give why did the these people in Iraq for example there was a real estate deal where 500 million found its way to Hunter Biden why are people giving a crack addict a known crack addict who had been kicked out of the Navy publicly why are they giving him billions and millions of dollars Every well, he wasn't time. always on crack. Sometimes he ran well, no, a no. hedge fund. Sometimes no, he would, he, he's consistently been on crack his entire adult life. That's just not and, true. I mean, because Hunter Biden is, what, probably pushing 40. And more times than he's been on crack, he's spent years and, and decades, like, like being educated at what? He went to some fucking Ivy League school. It might have been Yale. And so you he's think, got like you think you think that he's been getting well, well over a billion dollars from Russia, the Ukraine. Well obviously Iraq, the best with him is because he's the son of, of a of the VP. But so let me ask got, you a question. You're the second smartest man in the world. Why do you think they're giving money to the son of the VP? What do they get in well, return they have to, for that? Because people have to, they want to invest somewhere. They've got a shitload of money. I assume the hedge fund does a decent job. So if you've got a choice between investing in two hedge funds, or maybe I'm, I'm sure these people are invested in more than one hedge fund, but if you've got a choice between half a dozen hedge funds and one of them, is run by the son of the VP of the United States. Maybe you'll throw out of the three billion or eight billion or forty billion you're investing. Maybe you'll toss him half a billion. Why um, would you do that if you knew he was a crack addict? Well, because he's not a crack addict most of the time. He goes to rehab and he gets his shit together for years at a time. So I mean, and that that's one thing that the Trump's people have been criticized for is just constantly hammering on you know the, you know the, how on the crack well, addict Rick Rick, Rick, I, Rick I, I'm sorry but in the I have now seen the photographs of him smoking a crack pipe that came from his laptop so it must have been while he it, it, and these photographs are 
uh, were taken at roughly the same time that his father was going to these countries and making these deals, and he was on the plane with his father to make these deals. All That's right, you know what? I, 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 I'm tired of talking about that. We've gone an hour on this shit. I thought we. That's totally. It's. I've said what I thought. You, you keep going around. So if you're going to keep on, I'm going to shut the laptop, and we're going to quit doing the show tonight. If you keep, it's fucking 10:55. We started at 10:05. 50 minutes on this shit is too much. It bores the audience. You I make, don't think it bores the audience. I think it, what's interesting to me is that you can't accept reality. Yeah, but it's not a show about, it's a show about us yelling about different shit. It's not a show about me failing to accept reality. No, so let me tell you. Let me tell you. Like, this, this isn't a court of law. This is supposed to be a, a fucking YouTube show that's inter interesting for people. I'm done talking about Hunter Biden. You made all your points. You poked a lot of holes in my belief. Now let's fucking go on. There has no, to be no, something wait, else. Wait, I have, I have more, wait, wait. See, what I think is interesting about our show, let me tell you why people watch our show. I present facts about no, you something present that makes fun shit from conservative sources. I present what I believe to be facts. Okay. About a certain thing that should make you change your mind, reconsider your opinions. And no matter how many facts I give you, it doesn't have any effect. And what viewers are watching is not uh, a debate between two people because they, you haven't provided any facts or arguments on your side. What they're watching is one man present facts and another man desperately trying to avoid facing the reality. And, and what, what is going on in the United States is Democrats like yourself all over the country reading about this happening, seeing the, 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 the photographs of Hunter Biden, hearing the, any the, of the video tapes. Well, isn't that interesting, Rick? Because why, why do I need to see photographs? I may have seen photographs like six months ago when the New Yorker did a whole story on, on Hunter Biden's fucking life. But I haven't seen him. Why do I need to see Hunter Biden like smoking a well, crack? Well, I'll tell you why. Because No, don't tell me why. You've spent no, too no, much no, time. No, 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 no. I'd like to, I'd like and, to and tell also, you why. Now, hold on. Fucking, you like to say that my mind, I'm brainwashed. My mind is, can never be changed. I've changed my mind. You haven't changed your mind about fuck all in three and a half years. I've changed my mind a lot. One fucking thing I've changed my mind about is, or at least been pushed more in your direction, is fucking, now you talked about China building bases in the China Sea. And I could entirely believe this, maybe not from Biden, but from fucking Obama. Now, I watched the, that special on Obama um, by his by the White House photographer, uh, which was and it was sad making because B Obama always conducted himself with humanity and dignity. But after three and a half years of talking with you and thinking about it myself, um, my belief that Obama was too chill and too non-confrontational, my belief in that has been strengthened. So I've come, I've, I'm more, you know, I'm not on your side about Obama because you think he committed treason, but I do believe that he had serious shortcomings as a president. And his, his, his overall shortcoming was that he wasn't strongly confrontational with people. So I could entirely believe that we may have fucked up in the China. Now I haven't read about it, but I could believe that we fucked up in the China Sea um, because Obama was too fucking chill. I, I saw a statistic on. Now there's a point of view, which is that the president is the head of his political party. He's certain, you know, he's the standard bearer, and they show statistics about how many state and national offices were lost, went from Democrats to Republicans during the time he was president. And it was a fucking disaster. 
like 900 seats in state houses across the country and governorships and seats in the House of Representatives and seats in the Senate and you know you add them all together and they add up to more than a thousand like critical seats being lost because fucking Obama was not an aggressive pusher to get Democrats elected or keep or reelected and one reason we're in the uh, in the shit that we're in right now is because we lost all those Democratic seats and Republicans got too much power. And I believe that's because Obama wasn't aggressive enough. So you changed my fucking mind about Obama, or at least you pushed me in a direction to see Obama as less good than I maybe would have seen him. And I can, I don't know, if we looked at over the history of the show, you've changed my mind probably half a dozen different times, not all the way, but you know, I'm capable of fucking changing my mind. I would, and based on our record, I'd say more so than you. All right. I mean, you still believe in fucking hydroxychloroquine. Yes. Okay. So. I, I actually, there was a meeting um, of 10 very important doctors uh, yesterday, they gave a speech on the steps of the Supreme Court, and um, the meeting was banned by Facebook as well as the Giuliani article. Um, I couldn't post it on Facebook, and the Giuliani article was banned. Um, it uh, about Biden. Um, these ten doctors. Had, were having a meeting on the Supreme Court steps two days ago, and what they said was, one, children are not carriers of the disease. They can get it, but they're not transmitters of it. And so they are, there's virtually no evidence that children can give adults this virus. There's They, they cited a couple of studies while they were standing there, but they said that, you know, it doesn't matter what study you go to. Children are not giving this disease to adults. So, one, the lockdown should end with the schools. That all children should be back in school. It, uh, the, you know, the, the cost it not, doesn't even exist. There's n no evidence. The second thing they said was that, um, they got a doctor that came up there, and he said he had encountered 1,300, 1,600 patients uh, at his clinic that, that were uh, Wuhan positive, and he said he had treated all of them, and all of them had survived, not one death. There was, he didn't say what medication he used. His argument was, we now have medication. He didn't say what it was. It's, it's not important. He said that we have medication in this country for this virus, and so there's no reason to have a lockdown. He has a perfect Except record. 900 people are still dying every day in America. We're up to 225,000 dead. Rick, don't, don't be interrupt me. Rick, don't interrupt me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your, your numbers don't matter because what the doctor was saying that we didn't have in March. And, and he didn't say what they were, but he said we, the doc, what, what, our director You lost signal for a sec, you gotta. Okay, okay, so what Rick wants to do is tell me that there are many, many deaths happening. He's got, you know, nine, he's, he, it's actually about, about 700 a day, maybe, maybe not, and we're at about a, I don't know, a fifth of what we were at, at the peak of the, of the uh, pandemic. But what this doctor was saying is pandemics end when you find cures. And he said that he had cured 1,600 people and that we now have medications that could be provided throughout the country and, and uh, therapies. And, and they know the numbers and how much you should take 
and he said we can op we can end the lockdown because we we can do this now and and the th a third of of many doctors got up and said yeah i myself have been using uh another doctor that had encountered hundreds and hundreds of patients today this was just to, the no it was yesterday the 17th of october he said i've used ivermectin remdesivir uh, and several other medications, and I've also used hydroxychloroquine. And the, the, the drug where nobody died was hydroxychloroquine, so long as it was, uh, and he said, and the, the, a fourth doctor got up and said, the, mo the most important thing that we've learned is you have to get treated early. We didn't know that in March, and we now know that we have therapies and medications, and we now know that children don't pass the disease on. So what they yeah. have to do is end the lockdown and end yeah, this, this yeah. hysteria. Facebook, which is not known to be overly liberal, in fact, they're thought to be more conservative than a lot of social media, like more conservative than Twitter, but yet Facebook wouldn't let you post this article. That's and true. Instead of making you do further research to see why Facebook wouldn't let you post the article, you could continue to believe no, in this. I, I read, I read their, their research. They, uh, Facebook disagreed on the doctor's evaluation about masks. Oh, so the doctor said that the, mask, the masks aren't helpful? What did they say Not about masks? Not really. They said that the problem with the masks is this. The best mask we have is like a tennis, it's, it's like a chain link fence trying to keep a marble from going through. They, they had a specialist in uh, the spread of infectious diseases that said the virus is too small to be kept inside your, your mask. It goes right through any kind of hole because it's, it's, it's the size of a molecule or something. I don't know. Droplets but, carry the part. right, right. And and this is what this is what the the this was a different doctor in the same group. And what she said was, the droplets will will collect dead viruses, because what's in your droplets are dead viruses, but the living viruses are already gone. They're already out. They're too small. And so uh, the masks are symbolic. And that's what, that's what, by the way, the World Health Organization uh, was saying, and Fauci, they've all said that the masks are largely symbolic. They're just keeping yeah, people that, okay. alert. Yeah, I can see why Facebook wouldn't let you post that article, because that's just fucking garbage in the, I mean, there's, you can study up on fucking brownie in motion. If the particles are so fucking small they can get out of the mask, then they're not going to have adequate, they're going to be slowed down by the viscosity of the air. And in fact, I've seen particle spread imagery. They show, you know, the, the, how breath leaves through a mask versus how it leaves, you know, just with no mask. And masks reduce the the the, the dangerous radius. It's not like these particles are little bullets. They're little, they're, they're so, if they're so fucking small, they are not going to have enough mass to be able to plow through air molecules. They're just going to, so, I mean, so unless somebody is, unless you walk like within one foot of somebody who's forcefully breathing, you know, if you maintain six foot distance or more, you know, the, the live particles, if they're somehow free of droplets, they can't get very far. I mean, that's fucking one of the fucking things, well, Einstein, when he got well, his fucking Nobel Prize, one of the four things he won for was brownie in motion. He showed, um, what happens at the at the near microscopic scale with little particles? They they get hung up. All right.
Well, look, Rick, I don't know if that's applicable. This doctor was saying that the, the virus is already through the mask, that we're not catching any viruses in the mask. They're too small. So you can argue about it with... It's not in the mask. You're just limiting the radius that the, beyond the mask that the virus can spread. I mean, yeah, you're going to catch some in the mask, but some is going to get through, but it's going to be sapped of momentum by having to, you know, you try throwing a bunch of marbles or rocks. Let's say, you know, the, the distance between links in a chain link is two by, each square is two by two. So you take, say you throw throwing a bunch of one inch rocks, handfuls of them at the fence. Now, when they hit the mesh, a lot, most aren't going to just get through the mesh free and clear. They're going to run into each other. They're going to crash into the links. And the effective you know, radius of throwing a handful of rocks is going to be reduced. Yeah. Well, we're speculating here right now because we don't know the exact size of the weave of the masks, and we don't know the exact size of the uh, viruses. But... Okay. I, I can say I can say this. I can say that a lot of people that well, this is an interesting point and it's anecdotal, I realize. but when when they had that meeting at the White House um, where thirty four people got the virus, three of them were reporters that were just like you. They were wearing masks constantly. They got the virus. So yeah, a lot of people are getting the virus and still wear masks. That's right, but they say the mask is not is is only somewhat for the wearer, and it's for everybody else around the wearer. That it's that wearing the mask protects everybody else. But there's there's ways for the shit to get in your face. Like you, some people are suggesting people wear goggles because if droplets hit your eyes, that's one way into your body. So yeah, okay. So reporters wearing masks, fucking caught the virus. You you saw the distancing that was going on at that fucking thing, and it was a shitload of Republicans not wearing masks for the most part with no social distancing. So yeah, people wearing masks can catch the shit. It's not the best protection. It's just the best overall protection for the population. Yeah, I don't know. I, I actually think someday, now this is just, I'm just musing right now. I think that it's going to turn out that the mass made no difference, that the virus was just going to blow out into our country, and we were just like people in the Middle Ages that wore uh, big beaks full of uh, posy in order to try not to get the bubonic plague. Uh, so anyway, I, that's what well, I think. Well, there's a but, guy who's, act, who's an expert at, or at least compiles the work of experts on Twitter um, named Dr. Eric Ding. He's got another name, Eric something dash Ding, but that should be enough to, to find him on Twitter. And I just started reading a long thread of his about how masks actually work. And um, he, he said that, cited one study that, that, that argues that Americans wearing masks to the extent that we have has saved 200,000 lives or nearly, you know, knocking, dropping the number of people who would have died, almost cutting it in half. Um, so I believe in masks. I also believe in that masks aren't, perfect so i went out today we fucking what we went to the thrift store because carol had a discount coupon and i'm in there in a mask or actually a double mask and everybody else in the thrift store is in a mask but i'm still dancing around in there trying to maintain as many feet as possible uh, from the other fucking people um because masks aren't 100 percent effective and also fucking facebook wouldn't let you uh, post the giuliani article on hunter biden and instead of making you wonder you know what's the problem with the article it's you're like well facebook is just censoring well maybe facebook is just censoring 
well, Facebook has been attacked a bunch for not for not censoring for why letting don't all you, sorts Why of... don't you pull it up on Twitter, Rick? See if you can pull it up on Twitter. Oh, I can't on this computer. All I can't, right. This well, show the can... only okay. I couldn't see the article um, on Twitter. The only way you can see the article uh, where Giuliani makes his case is if you go to Giuliani on YouTube. And even Fox News has, you know, they've even allowed leftists to go on Fox News and say, oh, it's all bullshit. Giuliani's a bad man. Uh, not Tucker Carlson, not Hannity, but the point is, is that, um, all right, let's not talk about that. I would like to change the subject very briefly. One more reason to vote for Trump that I keep meaning to mention. Okay. Um, the uh, the veterans have died by the thousand uh, during the Obama administration and previous administrations because the the care was so bad that um, a lot of them died waiting for the care. Now I, I read up on this because the Washington Post said. Well, we don't really know how many died, <laughs> so so it's not true. But no, that's not true. It it does turn out that many thousands died waiting for care from the Veterans Administration. But the Washington Post is correct. We don't know the exact number. But um, what we do know is that the only president that did anything about it was Donald Trump. He, um, what he did was he changed the law so that if a veteran sought support uh, from the VA hospital and couldn't get a doctor, um, they had could use a, they had the right to go to any doctor, and the government would pay for it. Uh, any doctor that would see them in in a in a reasonable amount of time. So as a result. Um, the, the VA now has the highest satisfaction rating it's ever had in the history of the VA uh, because and and no veterans are dying because they can't get an appointment because it's now official policy that they will get an appointment in a timely manner all due to Donald Trump the guy that you said hates the military all right well I mean okay so that's a good thing fucking I don't th I'm, I maybe could go click around and, and find mitigating shit, but I, I, I'm inclined not to. I mean, that policy is a fucking good thing. Uh, Why would he do that if he thinks that soldiers are losers? A guy can, well, I mean, one doesn't preclude the other. Um, but I, to, earlier today, to get prepare for tonight, I, uh, I googled um, uh, Trump's achievements this week and tried to click around to see if there was any shit you were going to spring on me. Um, and I read about some stuff. He's Not everything he's done has been the worst fucking thing ever. He, um, he got $10 million um, allocated to clean up uh, plastic trash in the ocean. That sounds like way not enough, but he did get... He did some shit there. He did some shit for, like, Native American will. I mean, not everything he's done has been fucking awful. Though I would argue that if you, you know, listed the pros versus the cons, it would look pretty bad. But, yeah, the fucking fixing the VA somewhat is is a good thing. I used to take my grandpa to the VA, and, you know, you could argue that he maybe would have lived a little longer he made it to 96 and a half if he'd gotten, you know, slightly better service from them. Let me ask you a question. Um, Biden, Joe Biden has promised to pack the court. No, he hasn't. Uh, well, has he said that he won't? No, but that's not the same as promising that he will. Well, what do you think? You're the second smartest man in the world. I, I, at length, I said what I thought last Time no, no, met. but I'm just a, a, ask me. If somebody said to me, Lance, when you're president, are you going to pack the court? I'd say no. 
And if I said I wouldn't answer the question, a smart person would say, huh, well, maybe Lance is going to do that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, in fact, you actually said that you would add 12 members. Of the no, group. you've you got to have an odd number. number. No, 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 okay, so 13, did you think we should pack? You think Biden should add four members to the court? I didn't say what I thought he should do. I just said that I, I, I thought it wasn't a, you know, a slam dunk that he's going to do that. So you, you actually, because he won't say whether he'll do it or not, you, the second smartest man in the world, have, have, uh, are unable to evaluate whether he would or not. It's, that's it's right. That's fucking. It's baby. too hard to understand. That's, that's you want me to be logical. That's logical. It's a huge step, and it's a hugely polarizing step to uh -huh. try to pack the court. And I'm yes. not sure it's just, I don't know what you need in terms of majorities in the House. If he gets, I think the Senate, if he gets the Senate and the presidency, he can do it. Yeah, well, and I said the reasons why he might not at length last yeah, week. Yeah, but I don't care about that. What I want to know is why you can't determine whether whether he'll do it or not. Is well, it his... he doesn't want us to determine, because I think because we Amy Coney Barrett hasn't been confirmed yet. She will be confirmed. It's judiciary committee, what? The yeah, judiciary committee hasn't voted on her yet. She, she will. She will be. Vote on her. She will be. Well, she will be. Okay. All right, right. but but there's but it hasn't happened yet, and Biden doesn't want to give up one of the the potential weapons in his arsenal when she hasn't even been confirmed by the Judiciary Committee yet. Well, Maybe he holds out hope. But well, well, what do you mean? It will happen, and she won't be fucking confirmed. And maybe, I mean, obviously he doesn't want to say because he thinks if he says he will, that it'll, it'll cost him votes among independents. Well, don't we have a right to know whether he's going no. to, Rick? No, you're not the boss. No, you don't have a fucking right. Well, listen, if I ask you, Rick, are you going to kill babies? Wouldn't you say no? Yeah. So uh, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is if it's a horrendous thing, if you just agreed that it's a horrendous thing to pack the court, then why would you why is it that Biden can't admit that he won't do something horrendous? I didn't say it's horrendous. I said it's tremendously polarizing. And well, why it's, not just, it's not just polarizing. Do you think that it's it's a that it it doesn't matter if the court is packed? Well, it matters if the court is just so massively cons like super conservative that any issue before the court will be settled in a way that's consistent with the values of the Republican Party rather than on the merits of the case. That well, Rick, Rick, let, let me ask you a question. Trump is still president. Why doesn't he put 100 Republican gov uh, judges on the court? Would that be he wrong? Do. He's gotten three new justices. If he gets Amy Barrett, then he's uh -huh. gotten three. Right, but why doesn't he pack the court and put a hundred more? Would that be wrong? Would it, no, but would it be wrong? Would it be wrong? He doesn't would, need... I realize he doesn't need to. Would it be wrong? Yeah, it would be wrong. Then why is it right for Biden to do it? Well, the idea is to have an independent judiciary, a judiciary that doesn't make decisions based on the political alignment of the justices. And if the justices... But, but, they, but, they, but, they, but, but that's what they... The, the alignments have gone back and forth for decades. There have been times when there were six liberal judges and we didn't pack the court. Yeah, but the, I mean, in the in the past, the the conservative judges weren't vetted by the Federalist Society. The, oh, I see. So, so if you don't like the judges, then we just destroy the Supreme Court. Well, I mean, like the Trump is and 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 
McConnell working, you know, McConnell is letting through as many Trump appointed judges as possible. 200 judges compared to, for Trump, compared to, I think, about 120, or maybe, maybe Obama was forced to leave 120 vacancies. He wasn't forced to, he just didn't do anything. No, he, he, he nominated judges and then he couldn't get them through the Senate. No, he could have gotten them through. There are things he, he could have I done. Guess if, he'd he'd appointed, appointed, if he'd appointed, I don't know. If he'd appointed okay, but, judges who were Rick, sufficiently, if he'd appointed Republican judges, I'm sure McConnell would have let him through. But like in the, his last Supreme Court justice nominee, Merritt Garland, was not wildly liberal. He, Obama intentionally picked a, a slightly liberal, but not wildly liberal justice to, to kind of maximize that justice's chances of being acceptable to a, a Republican majority Senate, and they wouldn't even give him a hearing. Um, so, right, and which is the 200 is justice, judges appointed, nominated by, and appointed um, are many like who've been ruled um, unqualified by the American Bar Association. They're shit judges. They're, they're a different stripe than judges appointed in the past. And okay. if you're going to pack the court with shit judges, then, yeah, it, it makes sense to consider packing the court. Okay, Rick, I guess you don't understand this, so I'm going to explain this to you and to anybody listening. Up until now, we've had nine judges, and the reason we do that the reason it's worked out is because when you put a judge on justice a justice on occasionally they will not go with any political uh, expectation they like for example Roberts he sways with the wind we don't know what he's going to do under any circumstances so what happens is the idea is you put judges on the court and you have nine of them, and they debate, and they come up with unpredictable results. If you have more conservatives, it's probably going to go conservative, but not every time. But you see, what the Democrats want to do is they want to pack the court with many, many more justices, maybe 20 more, maybe 10, so that they can have their way. And what this does is it makes the Supreme Court no longer a court. It's just a rubber stamp for the Democrat Party. So whatever the Senate and the Democrats wanted, all they'd have to do is go to the Supreme Court where they put 20 more people on and say, this is what we want. Agree to it. Well, you see, if, if you pack well, that's, the court... That's a, huge, that's a good argument to not pack the court because you shouldn't be able to get what you want judicially by just appointing more justices till you have a majority. Right, right. And, and so even, what, and even if Rick, now it's a 6-3 court, even if you appointed two liberal justices, you still wouldn't have a majority. It would still no, be 6-5. That's, that's true. But let me explain but why on, that no, is. No, you, no, no, wait. You, I just you have said, to finish. You made a point that you don't want justices who, 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 who's... who's opinion is going to be predetermined by their politics. Not necessarily. What the federal society does is it pre-vets. It will only pass justices whose opinion, who, who we know what, who they know what, even though they won't say what they'll do in front of the, when they're, during Senate hearings, they're only endorsed and passed on to Trump by the Federalist Society if they um, have told the Federalist Society that they are against Roe v. Wade and against Obamacare and against the, the, the a small spectrum of, cons you know, they're aligned. That's okay, Rick, but, but that's okay. Now, let me explain why it's okay, all right? When they were creating the three branches of government, they wanted to, they wanted each branch to have a certain amount of power. The problem with the judges of the Supreme Court is that they're not elected. 
So once they get power, they have the most power. Mm -hmm. So they figured out a way of keeping them in check. The only way to keep them in check was to say that the president and the Senate both had to agree on the justice that, that was being uh, nominated. If both of the other two branches agreed, it would mean that the American people had elected those other branches and had some, in a, in a, in a uh, second-hand way, they had actually given their will, right? So in other words, if, if you elect a Republican Senate and a Republican president and they both choose the justices, it's still the will of the people. Now, what the Democrats will do by packing the court is they'll say it's whoever controls the Senate and the presidency. Uh, they, they, what we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep increasing the number as long as we're in office, and it, it, it won't. The, the justices then won't have any power. They won't have any independence. Yeah, it's it'll a bad move. Be, it'll be a, it'll, it'll me just be a rubber stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it'll explaining a rubber shit. Stamp. I you fucking stand, and you attacked me for not being able to say that Biden. That was. It's a huge move. It's possibly starts an arms race where you end up with a court that gets bigger and bigger, and that's a reason for Biden not to do it. And then but why you said, well, how not going to do it? Then why doesn't he say because I'm not going to do it? He's not, idea. Say he's not going to risk losing votes or losing negotiating power or any of that shit. Well, he doesn't have any negotiating power. Amy Coney Barrett is going to be confirmed. They're not. They're not waiting for his opinion. That's childish. She's going to well, be confirmed. He doesn't have he, to he has give no, an no negotiating power on this, Rick. And should, also, like, there, there's no, on when it comes to justices and judges, there's, there's no, there's no gap between Trump and the Senate. The Senate is entirely in the tank for Trump's choices. They agree. Right. So, right. But they could but, lose. But if you they look, lose. now the argument again is, Trump has a 10% chance of being reelected. The Senate, according to the latest statistics has a 27% chance of remaining Republican. So there, we will know in a little more than two weeks you know, whether America is going to stick with Republicans, a Republican majority in any of the, the, in the House, the Senate, and the presidency. It looks bad for the Republicans now. Um, and it feels, I mean, obviously you guys are jamming through a, a, a justice while you still can, um, even though, you know, the, the, the justice no longer represents the will of the American people you purport to respect. Well, we don't have any proof of that. Trump might win. Okay, yeah, he's got on, on one aggregator, he's got a 12% chance. On another, he's got a 9% chance. On a third, he's got a 1 in 200 chance. Trafalgar. All right, well, he's got a chance. It's, he doesn't have a 0% chance. Um, so anyway, are we? can we wrap it up for tonight? Yeah, I just have one last question. Mm -hmm. If Trump wins, what are you going to do? Well, we're, we've already been looking at, at the deal is that, that Carol and I are held in America, A, because we like America. It's where we've lived our entire lives. and we've. Um, but in addition to that, we're held here uh, because Carol's mom and my mom are here and we feel that they need us to continue to be here. But um, if things look sufficiently dire, and I, I don't know that things will be that dire if Trump gets reelected. I mean, I can imagine all sorts of ugly scenarios. But, 
you know, maybe Trump gets reelected, yet the Senate flips to Democrat control. Um, you know, there, there's no question that unless there's there's almost no of the three, the presidency, the House, and the Senate, there's all there's no question that the House will remain in Democratic control. Um, but the Senate could flip, even though Trump gets reelected, and that would put a check on his power. Um, maybe things wouldn't get so bad. Maybe Trump, maybe a Trump who doesn't have to run for re-election, like I had a certain hope, I had a hope that Trump would govern as a centrist, since he doesn't have a lot of fixed political, he doesn't have the fixed political opinions of somebody who's a career politician. So I thought, well, you know, maybe he'll go with the decisions and the policies that win him the, the most approval. And there's still a chance, not a good chance, that a second term for Trump, maybe he would be more centrist. Um, what if what if what if Trump uh, wins and the Republicans retain the Senate? Then what are you going to do? I don't know. Then we, I, my ears, like we've got, we in we got our my mother-in-law's dog, and it's it's half whippet and half Chihuahua, two skittish breeds. And that fucking dog, its ears are always pinned way back. You know when an animal's nervous, their ears just point straight back? Um, and that is, I would become that dog. My ear, I would be always just on the lookout for fucking, you know, bad shit that's going to happen. Um, I got a huge, I never get headaches. I got a huge headache tonight from A, the election, and B, the Dodgers were in game seven to go to the World Series. And between the two, you know, my head just started to pound. Um, my teeth hurt from gritting my teeth. So I assume in a second term Trump presidency, you know, I'd have to get up one of those mouth guards that stopped me from cracking my teeth. And I'd just be very fucking, um, what do you call, hyper alert, hyper vigilant um, for shit that might be going on. You know, I've tweeted about a thousand anti-Trump tweets, along with you know a bunch of anti-Mitch McConnell tweets, and I, I, you know, so my my record on Trump is very clear, and I get nervous that you know maybe that we're not there now, but maybe two years into a second Trump term, you know, that that freedom of expression you know starts getting, you know, sinisterly constrained you know with there might be implications for saying you hate Trump every day on Twitter that aren't there now I just I become very vigilant all right uh, I think we can finish now I'm, I've I, I think we've got given them a show okay all right, all right. thanks all everybody right. I think we're we'll right. back after the second debate if there's a second debate bye bye also, Lance versus Rick at gmail.com if you want to send us a few bucks via PayPal. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night.